Good afternoon, YouTube and my blank slate crew. Was gonna wait till tomorrow morning to do this, and I was talking to a friend, a new person that I met outside where I live today, and uh, he's just embarking on a nutritional journey himself. And we began talking about um, uh, macronutrients and micronutrients, and he just stopped me after a minute and he said, what are macronutrients? And I was like, that's an awesome question because many times what will happen to people, and it's a common thing, theme, where they'll go and buy books at the store, go to chapters, start reading websites, and they just don't understand why they can't seem to assimilate the information or put it into practical use. And one of my beliefs is that it is because they don't understand the verbiage or vernacular or the words that they are reading because the per person writing the book or disseminating the information doesn't actually tell them. So when you get someone spouting off about your macros and all this stuff, especially like, sorry, but on discussion forums and all these people trying to be experts and say this and that, but they don't have any expertise in teaching. And if the person that you're trying to teach the principles to don't have the base knowledge of even the words that you're using, then nothing's gonna go across and translate. So I'm gonna go over just what your macros are. What are macros? So it's a short form for macronutrients. And there are three macronutrients that are, that's the common, the most common format. So that's your proteins, your carbohydrate, and your fats. So there's three macronutrients because that makes up the largest portion of your caloric intake. And so when you hear someone say, uh, I've got to fit to my macros, that means that they've um, chosen a type of uh, eating style or nutritional habits where they're, they could be doing like a 30% carb, 33% protein, and 34% uh, fat diet. So that would be a 30-30-30 split between each of the three mac macronutrients. And so they're follow, when they say they're following their macros, that means that they are, to the best of their ability, making sure that what they put in ingest is matching when they actually track it all and put it into like say, My Fitness Pal, which by the way is a great tool for tracking your um, nutrient intake and staying accountable on your journey is again, recording and documenting all the things that you do. And without that documentation of your macros, you're not gonna know whether you perform well on a moderate, low or high carbohydrate diet, whether or not if you're on a low carbohydrate diet, you're eating sufficient fats to support your energy needs and all these other things that we can eventually get into as an offshoot of this particular video. So that's your macros. And then the other one is your micros, which is short for your micronutrients. And that's what you get from things like uh, ingesting pink Himalayan salt. There's a lot of micronutrients in there and things that your body needs on the molecular level that you're not gonna get from uh, say eating flaxseed oil or whatever, but you need to get that from a mineral source. So your micronutrients are things that you would find in stuff like uh, progressive nutritionals green supplement and I'm going to show you that this is that right here I don't have any affiliation with this company but the reason why I like it is because it's Canadian and it's got an NPN number which means it's 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 been verified that what's in it is you know based in good science or whatever it is and it's it's went through a vetting process with the uh, food industry to be able to you know make the claims that they do and all the other things on their labeling and I do know that they use at least half of the product that goes into this, which is all the greens. So in the greens and all the stuff in here, the, a lot of this is micro uh, micronutrients that you need. So we, we take an example. Um, let's look at this here. We've got in here acerola extract. Well, probably in there, there's like, uh, there could be things in there like uh, there's certain phytonutrients that you need that come from plant material that on the cellular level, you might only need a tiny, tiny little bit of it, but that will have it in there. And so that's an example of your micros is getting it from a product like this and also from the different types of uh, salt products that you can take in, not sodium table salt. So iodized 
uh, sodium, which is table salt, is not good for you at all. You should cut that all out of your diet as much as possible. That's usually what's added into most foods when you see the sodium content. Sodium itself, that micronutrient, so that one of your micros, is not bad for you. It's actually super beneficial because it, it, it gives you all of the many of the micronutrients that you need. So there you go. There is our Coach Fusion's little um, lesson for the day on what are your macros and what are your micros, why they're important, and the importance of obviously tracking your intake with tools that are available to us for free, like My Fitness Pal. All one word, you can download it for free on any Android or iPhone. And again, I don't have any affiliation to these. They're free, it doesn't cost anything, and it's a great tool to use. So have an awesome day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.